Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining Chess for Developer Group for RCA India. So today our topic is session three, the power of data in marketing cloud. So we have already completed three, uh, se uh, two session on marketing cloud. So I, I will give the video link in description. So if you did not watch the our previous session, so you can go through that video as well. So let me tell you about myself. My name is Ashish Madhukar. I'm a founder of SFDC Madhukar. In SFDC Madhukar, we are creating a video in the Hindi related to Salesforce. I'm a, a certified uh, integration architect and my expertise in LWC and integration basically. So today our uh, speaker is Prince Jha. So let me tell you about uh, Prince. So Prince uh, is a digital marketing consultant. He involved in the multiple roles like uh, strategy, planning, and execution of digital marketing. So he helped the he helped organization to achieve their marketing goal or like uh, uh, advertising their business. Uh, and he has expertise in Salesforce marketing cloud and part of. So over to you, Prince Cha. All good. Okay, thank you, Prasant. Uh, so let's start. I'm not going into waste your time. Already five minutes we are late. So today we are going to discuss about marketing cloud. So in marketing cloud, basically, I can't say that you can complete everything in just three, four, or seven session. So we had started this in a serious note that if somebody is really interested, because we are connecting in various events and many of them are telling that, sir, uh, we are not having a much opportunity to learn with, uh, generally this marketing cloud. The reason is that they don't have a org, right? And if you don't have a playground, how could you how could you learn anything very in detail? So here I try to uh, show you everything, whatever I will going to explain, I will try to show you in the real org so that you can get the idea uh, very much. Uh, in the live environment. So that is the benefit of having this kind of event. There I will try to present you everything, whatever I'm going to discuss in, in a PPT form first. So let's start the communication. Hopefully you will going to get the my screen and some walkthrough demonstration, getting started with Salesforce Marketing Cloud Session 4. So actually, this session is third, but actually we had took three sessions. This was the fourth session. So that is the reason. This is the headline difference. Actually, we had done the third session already. This is the fourth session. But yes, between this third and fourth, we have a one month of gap because of the several reasons. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Myself, Prenza, uh, you can connect me anytime on LinkedIn regarding Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Par dot and digital marketing. I will be happy to help you in any case. It's not about only the learning in any business uh, case or any where where you are stuck with the growth growth marketing. We are stuck with the uh, the growth hacking. We are here to help you in any martech product. So that is my expertise. You can follow me on LinkedIn. You can connect over uh, various other platform that we are I'm most active in. So this is the agenda of the today uh, session. Here we are going to discuss about the list. Hopefully many of you are aware with the list. If you are not, uh, you can watch our video on the list. The reason is we are having uh, the recording of this session and we are putting this recording on two of the channel. Uh, Madhukar is also putting this on their channel and that the same thing I also putting on my website, uh, on my YouTube channel, so you will have opportunity to watch previous recording as well if you miss any of the recording. So this list is uh, basically I will describe you in the in the brief. Don't worry. Next is the data extension that also I'm going to discuss. And there is a list versus DEY and when you are going to use the list and when you have to use the, the data extension. Then what is the sender profile that also we are going to discuss? Delivery profile also we, we are going to discuss what is exclusion list and suppression list and what is the use of this that we are also going to discuss and most important thing is that i will show you all these steps 
I will also going to show you where this suppression list, where this exclusion list, how we will going to implement everything we will going to discuss. Now there is a publication list. There are three type of list that we are going to discuss. Then we are going to discuss about email copy design. And then I will take the Q and A. So there are many things, but I will make sure that you will learn everything beautifully. Now, as I said, uh, if you want the recording of the previous class, you can scan this QR code so that you can get the last three class or three session recording. Okay, you will get it up here on this uh, website or YouTube channel, whatever you say. So, list versus data extension that is the topic number one. So, in list, this is the starting it out. Means if you are using the digital uh, marketing, everyone wanted to grow their audience. And how you are growing your audience? Like you are focusing on traffic, website traffic I'm talking about. Maybe you are focusing on the social media engagement, social media followers you wanted to make. And similarly, there is a channel that is the email. So you wanted to grab the email ID of the each and every audience so that you can interact with them through the email communication. So this is one of the uh, priority in, uh, email email that is one of the priority platform, marketing platform that is going to work for B2B and B2C very well. The reason is that based on the person behavior on your platform, you can customize the marketing communication with them. And this was one to one. In general, when you see the TV ads, when you see any digital ads, they are produced for the mass audience. So there is less customization possible there. But if you talk about the email, you can customize it based on their preferences. Like if you are doing shopping on Amazon, maybe you will see the personalized shopping recommendation on your email because they have the, your data onto their platform and accordingly they can personalize the email for you so that you may get personalized uh, coupons gift so that you will going to be excited to go ahead with the purchasing decision so that is the benefit of having a good email uh, client email software email marketing suit that will going to achieve the best roi from the email marketing campaign if you talk about the effectiveness of email marketing you can search about if you spend your company any company spend one dollar for the email marketing budget, they will going to get the ROI of return on investment of $38. So you can think about how much it is high, right? So every company, if they are not doing it, they are wasting a lot of uh, revenue just because they are not expertise in email marketing. Now, if you have to do the email marketing, you will have to be the very good software that will going to take care of all those things. And that software is called Marketing Cloud. There are many, many marketing cloud available in the market, but out of all these, the leader is Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And that I had discussed in very detail in the previous session. What are the features of this? What are the uh, advantage of using the system? Because this is scalable and it will work for the lacks of uh, audiences. Okay, now if I talk about the audiences, how you will get the audience that I also wanted to let you know. Maybe in the many of the website, you will see the subscriber form, right? So you put your email ID over here so that you can get the personalized email into your inbox. Now that subscriber form is coming to directly into the list in Marketing Club. So if you going into the my website, prinza.in, and there are subscriber lists that we had created on the homepage. There I see are the exclusive digital marketing tips to my subscribers. So many of them who believe in my marketing methodology, they know that I'm good in marketing. They wanted to learn from me. And so they subscribe my email list. So if they are putting their mail ID, suppose a at xyz.com. So that a dot a at xyz.com comes into my list. Okay. So that list, I can make many uh, email campaigns. We can interact with them based on their activity. So that list have a limit. Okay. And then that is the reason there is a second person comes into the picture and that is called 
data extension and we can sort we call it a dp so if i do the recap what i, I had discussed till now that there is a marketing software using that marketing software you do the email marketing and for doing the email marketing you need a audience to get the audience you create the subscriber form on your website that is not the only option you create the subscriber form on your website you know even on your website there are multiple type of forms like uh, you can see that you have created the account so you may get the me message email in your campaign related like marketing campaign maybe you forget the password so you will get the forget email reset email similarly you will get the abandoned cart email maybe you will get the some of the blog update means if somebody had posted some new blog you will get the update somebody had created the account on the website and they had tagged you still you will get the message this kind of message you see from the facebook so these are the activity and based on that activity you will get the messages now all these are the email uh, email messages that i that is having a different different type now this is on the website only but what about the outside of the website there is a social media form maybe on the social media you will put the email onto their subscriber form maybe in your youtube video they told you to subscribe their newsletter so what you are going to do you are clicking on their uh, link on their description and you are subscribing to their newsletter so there are many way you will going to improve the list of the company so if the company have only 5000 subscribers 5 lakh subscriber then list is very much efficient for them because data is less if we talk about the marketing cloud the 5 lakhs is a very small audience size and for that you can manage everything on the list it doesn't mean you are not going to manage the data extension you can do that but most of the time list will going to be help you helpful for you the reason is very simple that you can see here that for the list this is very fast in doing the operation so import speed in the list is very fast because this is very less resource heavy okay so if you do the any update if you perform any delete operation if you uh, extract the data all these operation are very fast because it is a resource not a resource intensive okay but at the same time if you go to the data extension most probably we will prefer it when you have a audience size more than 5 lakhs as i said you can less use for the less than person as well but most probably we will do it when you have a 5 lakh now when you create a data extension you have to be very clear about the strategy you can create n number of data extension you can create a multiple views on data extension data extension you can uh, create using a multiple way and there are multiple type of data extension there are standard data extension filter data extension and random data extension that all are had discussed in the previous session i will write it down for your convenience if you wanted to so there is a first that is standard so this is important standard de this is one of the important because based on this you will create the second and third that one is the random and the filter de so this three data extension is but as i said this two are dependent on standard data extension based on that data standard data extension you create a filter and that filter will call as filter data extension because after getting a filtration on certain conditions you create a new de and that is the filter b Sem similarly if your sample size is too big if you, in a data extension you have one lakh data but you wanted to break them into the certain uh, numbers like 30000 30000 and 30000 in that way you can use the random data extension it will break the data extension of one lakh into the multiple format so there are many condition you can use in random and you can randomly generate the data from the standard de so this is one of the more important but these two are also important based on your operation you create this data now coming to the use of list and data extension that we are discussing about so mostly it is useful when you have less than 5 lakh data when you have more than 5 lakhs you are going to use the uh, data extension but here it is written wrong okay this is the vice versa actually it was wrong type so when you have less than 5 lakh you can use the 5 lakh uh, you can use the list if you have more than 5 lakh data you can use the uh, data extension d import speed i already told you the sending so in the sending you will use the trigger send include transactional uh, data 
in the email as well. Now, what is the transactional data? There are two types of data, the marketing data and the transactional data. Most of the time when you saw any newsletter, when you saw the advertising or any promotion, that is the comes under the marketing data. Transactional is something that you will see that, that if you forget the password, you reset the password, you get the OTP, you get the bank uh, banking. Uh, if you receive, you receive the banking uh, information like a bank statement or you get the reset password or something like that. In that case, that all comes under the transaction. Now, the point is what you can do with the data extension. So similar to these two, we send simple emails without transactional data that you can perform in the data extension. In the sense, there are multiple sense that we will discuss in the automation and that you will going to learn uh, very detailed. So I'm just here summarizing the features of list and data extension. So I'm just telling you in basics. Now, what are the additional things? Need to store more information. You need to go to the list in a mini in a way that is something that you will going to store less information in the list. But in data extension, I think uh, this headline was just swept. This is actually this DE and this is the list. Whatever I saw, this is just the reverse. So uh, that is something uh, opposite. The headline was, I think, I typed typecast. So this is the something that you are going to use uh, for the basic means list is going to use for the basics and DE is used for the extensive data extension. Okay. Now, now you have a data. Suppose you have five lakhs audience. So this five lakh audience, what you are going to do? You are going to send the email and they will going to receive the email. So for that, what you have to do, you will going to design the email copy. You will going to design the email. So what you need, you need an audience, you need a sender profile and you need an email copy. So we are going to discuss all these things uh, in the today's seminar. I will try to discuss all these things in today's webinar. Whatever is possible, we will going to show you as well. So let's start with the simple ones because I assume that most of you are not aware with these things. So possibly you will going to uh, learn it in a very simple manner. You all are familiar with the user interface of the email, Gmail, right? So that is the reason I took this. So this is from, right? So this is what? This is our sender profile. This is our sender profile in Marketing Cloud. Now, what is this tool? This tool is abc at gmail.com. It is your delivery profile. Means what? You are sending the email to your mail ID to this delivery person. Means this is the address where you are sending the email. So this is the delivery profile. Now, in this email, especially in Gmail, when you are sending the Gmail campaign, you are communicating one to one. So you don't need to multiple add multiple uh, email here. But if you wanted to, you can do that. But you can't add lakhs of email. That is not the good idea. And for that, you will going to use the marketing cloud, Salesforce marketing cloud. So delivery profile is what? It is something that individual email ID and it can be anything. Now, there are many lakhs of email here, right? So that is the delivery profile and that is in the form of list or in the form of DE. Either it is in the form of DE, either in the list of form of list. But there are lakhs of data here. There are lakhs of data here as well. So this is something that you are going to send the email that is the delivery profile but sender profile is what so let's talk about the sender profile so in any organization if you are the person that is handling the email marketing campaign it doesn't mean you are the only person if you are the only person obviously you will going to handle this everything and in that case there is only single sender profile but in that case if there are multiple person and they are handling the marketing campaign differently why because because there are thousands of audiences and based on that, based on the audience size, you are interacting with them individually. Like there is a list. In that list, I as a prince are connecting with the audience. Why? Because they know me as a prince, because they are subscribed to us, because they know I am a good digital marketer. So they have seeking information from me. But one of the person who are a developer and on our website, some of the person had subscribed us just because they wanted to get the update from my website and that that detail is something that is related to technical side like how we had designed the our website how we are up improving the functionality of the website what we had 
increase in terms of technicality and the scalability related to the website on technology they are seeking information from xyz person so if they get the message from xyz person only they can going to rely on them because they are technical architect now in that case we can manage the simple marketing cloud one single account and from that single account we have a two sender profile so i can send the email from this email profile or even i can send the email from this email profile so if there is one user who are looking for both the information if they are looking for information from benza and they are looking for information from technical update as well so they will get the information from both side maybe they will get the digital marketing information and they are getting a technical information but this method will he will receive from prinza and this method method he will receive from xyz person okay so use of sender profile and why it is important because if they are going to receive the message from this person related to technical update they find it more trustworthy and if they are getting the marketing data from prinza they will find it more worthy because they are no they know that who is going to send him that particular message and that is the reason this sender profile is also very important so i discussed the two topic that is one is the delivery profile and what is the sender profile now coming into the detail of the delivery profile now when you send the emails there are many things will going to happen as a marketing cloud person when you are managing all those things because it is something that you have to manage through the multiple way you can manage through the sql you can manage through the pre existing criteria of digital marketing uh, uh, filters on marketing cloud that also you can manage now what are the delivery profile when you send the emails to this person happen this will happen that maybe the email will bounce and people will going to unsubscribe are getting and opening the emails maybe they mark as spam and there are many other things right so there are multiple stats status of the list of the profile now based on your profile you wanted to create a separate list and that list is related to exclusion list suppression list we will discuss more about what is this list exclusion list what is suppression list everything and what is the use of this that i also going to discuss this is very important the in terms of managing the list why let's talk about the exclusion list first then i will give you the real example so that you can understand what is exclusion list so exclusion list are contact contact means what abc at gmail.com this is the one of the contact that will not receive a particular email based on the criteria like geography gender or customer type maybe one of the person who are looking for only marketing emails and they don't want to get the tech emails so we can create one exclusion list where we can eliminate the particular person from the marketing emails because he is only interested in tech if similarly we can do the vice versa so this is something that you are using the exclusion list if i tell you one of the examples like suppose that you had already sending 10% discount to one of the list right and now you wanted to send the more 10% discount to the next person so what you are going to do you can create one exclusion list where you are going to send the next 10% to only those person who had not received the previous campaign right and for that what you are going to do you can create the exclusion list there are many examples that you can use in the real life like suppose that you are having a two client one is amazon one is flipkart now you had already approached somebody as a amazon uh, client that you will get the 20% discount for this link if you are going to purchase anything right now from the same person you know that they are not active on flipkart you don't want to send in the email campaign related to flipkart so you will going to create one amazon list exclusion list and you will going to exclude them when you are going to send the flipkart campaign so out of 10 lakh audience size if you have out of 10 lakh if 2 lakh or 3 lakh is having having amazon a student sorry student customer so that will going to be excluded from your campaign 
So if there are 10 lakh people, only 7 lakh will receive the campaign. Why? Because in your Amazon list, you put it in a exclusion list, so they will not want to receive the campaign. And that is something that is very useful as a marketer because that exclusion list something uh, make your effort very easy because you can easily differentiate. This is the ABC company and this is the XYZ company. I don't need to send this one to this one. So when you are sending, you just simply add exclusion. You just add exclusion and this list will exclude it from the 10 lakh data. If there is a 10K data out of this, 3K will going to be excluded. The reason is what? Because you had put the name exclusion list. So it contains subscriber with a different status. You still want to send the email, communicate with them. You can do that. But if you don't want to, you can exclude them when you are doing the campaign. So that is the exclusion list. Now let's differentiate this exclusion list with the suppressor list. So suppressor list also contact the, contains the email ID and the contact that you want, don't want it to send the email. And why it is different? Because here also you don't send the email. As I told you in this campaign, you don't want to send this campaign to this XYZ list. So you put it into the exclusion list. But keep in mind, it doesn't mean you don't want to send campaign ever to this. You will going to send the campaign, but right now you don't want to send this camp, this person the campaign. Maybe the, there are the second cam campaign. In that case, you will only send the XYZ audience to the campaign. But in that case, ABC, you don't want it to include. So this will be your exclusion list. But if I talk about the suppression list, this is you are going to ban permanently. Means if somebody is in the exclusion list, they will never receive the emails from you. Any of your campaign. So what, how the workflow will go? Like if you are triggered the email, send. If you click on the send activity, it will go to list, okay? For the first time, it is goes to D means data extension but if your data is already in list so it will go to the list and in this list it will say check the status and what what is the status check the status that's active active they wanted to receive the campaign or unsubscribe if they are unsubscribe means what they will not send the campaign to this contact their status is unsubscribe and there are third status as also there is a held Held is also not get the message because held is something that marketing cloud haven't decided that should I send it or not because held is something maybe failed. Maybe there are many reasons to having a held like presently user are not active. They are, they are not receiving the email. Maybe next 20 years, 20 uh, hours, 25 hours, they will receive the email. So that for that hour, that status of that subscriber is held now. If everything is okay, they will go for the list. And which list? The same list that we are talking about, the suppression list, the uh, exclusion list that they are going to check. And any email ID is in the suppression list. It means what? They will not going to receive the campaign. And then what? Then it will send the campaign. So these are the two, you can say the filter. This is the one filter and this is the second filter. Where if you send 10K plus audience a campaign, out of all these, they will get checked. Maybe 2000 uh, removed from here because their status was unsubscribe and held. And maybe the next 3000 will going to be removed from here. Why? Because they are in the suppression list. They don't want to get the email. Maybe they are in the exclusion list. So 2K and 3K total 5K. So only 5K person will going to receive the email. And for that, you don't need to put any extra effort. Why? Because this was managed by the marketing cloud automatically. If you created your suppression list every time, it will exclude the email. If you have a subscriber status, it will automatically update it by the marketing cloud. You can manually update the subscriber list, but that is not recommended. Because generally, if you have a 5 lakhs of minimum 5 lakh or 10 lakh data, in that case, if you have a 1% of making a change of the status, it will be 5,000 or 10,000. So it is, it is very hard to manually change the status. So generally, you don't do that. For that, you will have a reply mail management arm software. And for that, uh, so Salesforce automatically handle the subscription status. OK, even for the manually, you can use the RME. So now, what is the difference between the suppression list and exclusion list? Exclusion list is temporary. When you don't want it to 
send the particular list of email id to the one of the campaign now in the suppression list you don't want it to send anybody any campaign it can be anything like somebody had not sub not unsubscribed you from the list not unsubscribed but they are marking a spam okay so what you can do in that case you can put them into the sub uh, suppression list so that they will not get any mail huh? because if somebody is marking you in a spam it will decrease your ip reputation what is ip reputation ip reputation is something that if you are sending any campaign any email if you are sending they are having a ip ip address and from that server it is originate the email campaigns so if the ip address of that email is reputation is not good then most probably your email will going to be blocked by many of the isp many of the email firewall so you need to have a very good ip reputation it is like if you hosted your website on one of the ip one of the server and that server have a bad reputation then what will happen maybe search engine will ban you from the search engine ranking they will not give you the good ranking because you are spamming the visitors like that if you are spamming through the email you will not get the primary inbox of the user most probably you will get in a spam folder maybe you will get blocked by the isp by the email firewall you can understand with the phone number like if you are calling multiple times through your phone like in a day i will tell you one easy example how spamming will work and how they identify that you are spamming to somebody so for that understand with the phone number in a day you make a hundreds of call 100 call every day and it is very uncommon why because many of us have a our active life we do many of the activities so generally we talk one hour two hour three hour maximum in a day maybe if it is four hour because of the festival but in general how many hours you talk maximum four to five hours it means max but if somebody is talking every day eight hours and they are making new number they are calling on new number every day new number calling and they are calling 200 people or 100 people every day and they all are new what is the chances of they are a tele caller right so based on the activity of the user the company decided they are a tele callers and based on their calling profile their user history they are calling history software like true caller decided this person is a tele caller and when he is calling to me true caller is also installed in my software in my mobile and they let me know that this is their spam why because they have a data of this person and they are using that data to ident let me know that this is their spam call and that is done by the many of the uh, telecom provider as well many of the uh, software manufacturer are or many oem is also integrating such kind of tools into your phone so that you can get the less spam call similarly email is very old one of the oldest marketing channel if talk about the e digital marketing email marketing is one of the oldest and for that there are many rules as well like can spam you have having a if you are doing the spamming you will comes under the us rule that is can spam and you will get banned from the many isp so maintaining your ip reputation is very important and for that suppression list will help you in many ways like if somebody is don't wanted to receive the email they are messaging you please unsubscribe me from the email you should unsubscribe him you can put him into the subscription suppression list as well if you want to so that they will never get email communication from your side this can included your competitor emails address subscriber with a history of spam complaints somebody is marking lot of spam on subscribe from your previous advertisers etc are pushed into the uh, suppression list so that they will not get any email even their subscription subscription status is active even their subscription status is active they will not get the email because in the next filter in the suppression list they will get eliminated now i will tell you some of the scenario that when you don't want to send the email to particular person suppose you are in the uh, you are selling the credit card okay you are selling the credit card so for that you are making 5k emails every day or 5 lakhs email every day 5 lakhs email every day now 
you, where you are getting this five lakh email, you are purchasing from somebody. As you know, this is illegal, but everybody do that. But in marketing law, we, they don't allow. So somehow, let's suppose that for this example, they allowed it. So what you are going to do, you don't want to send the campaign to those who are already get irritated and they had a publicly making, making a complaint in a police station or maybe in any other place that we are getting a lot of spam from that company. So in every data seller, they have a data, list of data that one lakh person, you don't need to send the email. So out of this five lakh, like you don't want it to send this one lakh email because they are having a, uh, they will not going to tolerate your spam. Maybe they will going to make a, make you, make you take a legal action against you so that what you can do, uh, you don't want it to send them the email. So in that case, you can put them into the suppression list. That is the one of the example. Maybe you are wondering for the email, can somebody make a legal action? So yes, they can take the legal action. The reason is very simple. In US, there are several rules that without any consent, you can't send the email. Forget about the calls. In India, many of them are making a call. But for the US, even mailing them without the proper uh, consent is a illegal. Okay. So now talk about, so we discussed about the two things, exclusion list and suppression list. Now I talk about the publication list. What is the publication list? It is very helpful. And this is for the users. Even many of you are aware with the publication list, but you don't know the name, but you know that what is the publication list? What is the publication list? So when you go to the website, many of the time you will see one of the list where they will show you, you can subscribe the email campaign from this, from this, from this, from this, like that, there are multiple options. How? Look at here. I will show you the first example itself. This is the one of the example that I took from one of the website. As you can see that, this is the, you can see the subscription set. Okay. So in this subscription center, you can put your mail, first name, last name, email, email, and whatever the title you have. And you will going to put uh, what type of content you wanted to. So there are multiple type of campaign they are running on and you can select and you can uh, get the email. If you don't want to get the email, you can select this one, unsubscribe. So all this list will going to be deselected and you can put submit button. So you will unsubscribe from each and every campaign. So what is this? This is the subscription center. And inside this, there is a publication list that is managing all the activity. Means what? This is democratizing the audience means what demo each and every audience have a powerful feature that if they don't want it to receive your email they can come here and they can update their preferences and that is the reason it is also called as preference center subscription center and inside this all there is a publication list and why this publication list is important if somebody had made that statement that i don't want you to receive the email campaign they can unsubscribe it so you have this manage this in the publication list. So publication list is help to manage how subscriber wanted to receive different type of email or SMS. So it is something that is very helpful because it will reduce the spamming. It will improve the delivery because somebody don't want to receive the emails. You are not going to send. So out of 100 in your campaign, 10 had told you that I don't want to receive the next email. You are sending only 90 people and they all are interested. So it means you will get 90 percent, 90 out of 90 percent receive the email. Means email delivery is 100 percent. Chances is that 80 percent are open it because they all have a interested in receiving the email. So maybe out of that 80 percent, one percent may had make a purchase decision. So you have a one percent of conversion. So if you value your list, then your spamming will reduce your ip reputation will improve your delivery will improve your ip reputation is improving it means whenever you are sending any important email or any even the promotional emails for some time they will go directly into your user and they can make many several purchasing decision based on your email so that is the power of ip reputation now let's take one example for the publication list when you're sending the newsletter advertisement or any alert each of these is a different category so create a separate publication list for each category why that i will all i will explain when you send a newsletter 
associated with the send with the newsletter publication list to identify the system what kind of content is the publication means suppose that you had subscribed the prinza newsletter now i will tell you with example and here i will going to include each list i suppression list i will going to talk about the publication list and i will going to talk about uh, what are the third one exclusion list that also going to talk about so let's take somebody abc at gmail.com came to my website prinza.in and they subscribed the newsletter okay so they had subscribed the newsletter and in this newsletter we are sending the three type of newsletter forget about the five type newsletter one monthly newsletter that i sent monthly newsletter related to the marketing then i will talk about the martech marketing technology i talk about and the third i talk about the promotion but this is not the promotion of my product this is the promotion of some third party product where i share the deals that is helpful for the my users because i know that in my subscriber list out of 1 lakh 30000 or 40000 are for founders so founders they have to know the basic b2b softwares so that they can perform their business operation so we de provide deals on b2b software with 20 30 40% 40 discount lifetime access so that people are interested in this uh, promotion email as well so now if i have a 100k data so maybe many of them are interested in, interested only in this monthly newsletter because they wanted to seek value about the digital marketing but they are not interested in martech and they are not interested in my product promotion emails now if they are not interested in and we don't have the publication list it means they don't have a choice to eliminate this email campaign and this email campaign so that they will get mon monthly three emails and they get irritated from my side and they will unsubscribe me when they want to receive our monthly newsletter but because i am sending too much email to him he unsubscribed me because of my frequency of the email so that is the loss of uh, the audience now similarly that that will happen with the martech many of the person who are technic technic technology enthusiast who wanted to learn the marketing technology from me but they want don't want to our my monthly newsletter and don't want to to get this promotion email related to the software so they will also get irritated with this email if i don't have a publication list so maybe they will unsubscribe me for their list as well so this publication list comes into the picture when they will give the option which campaign you wanted to receive which campaign you wanted to receive and if you don't want to receive this one you can unsubscribe from this particular campaign so that is the use of publication list and based on this suppose that this uh, this person don't want to make this monthly newsletter this will comes under the exclusion list okay they will get excluded or maybe they will get separated based on the suppression list that i can do it because if i create the suppression list suppression is something that we will going to target based on the campaign exclusion is something that is we are going to use to completely exclude them from any campaign so exclusion is not relevant for this but suppression will going to work now if somebody is coming to our campaign and they don't want to receive any communication from my side so what they have to do i have to put them into this exclusion list so that they will not receive any further communication from my side this is the a uh, practical use of the email uh, list uh, sorry uh, the list of the audience publication list exclusion list and suppression list i will show you each and every space and location of this list in the campaign in the data in the software so that you will get the idea okay now this is the email copy design and that is something uh, i have to discuss with all of you already cover uh i think what is the time okay so almost 50 minutes so i have only 10 minutes so today i will not going to discuss this email copy design i will show you the all those list where you will going to find it so that you will have a idea that how it will look like and how you can manage all this so i have to go to the marketing cloud ui okay I will share you the my screen of Salesforce Marketing Cloud. 
software so that you will get the idea. Okay, so let's take uh, the example. So when you come to the marketing cloud, I had already logged in. So I wanted to save your time. So I just logged in into the system. When you come into the marketing cloud, you will see this UI like this. In this marketing cloud, if you don't see like this kind of uh, UI, or you can say that the navigation bar, you can go just on the top of this. If you anywhere you are, you can just watch my uh, cursor. If, we, if it is goes to the top of the logo of the Mark Salesforce, this will pop up. And here all the studio and builder you will see. This is the email studio. This is the social studio, web studio, analytics builder, journey builder, content builder, audience builder. That all we are going to cover. Two of them I already covered in the previous example, previous session. So now in this email studio section, if you click on this email, you will go in email studio, okay? So this is the email studio and in this email studio, if you come to that, you will see the overview, the content, the subscriber, the interaction. I will show you just, maybe you, are, you wanted to see that. So just click on this. I am just clicking over here so that you will go to the email. Now, this, this is the overview. This is the content. There I will going to create the many campaigns, okay? And this is the subscriber list. That email copy design that I talk about, I will going to discuss in this content builder. So today we are going to show you the list. So you can see this is the all subscriber. So this is the all subscriber of the data. And now you can see that this is the email and this is the status. In this status column, you can see that there are three type of status. One is held, one is unsubscribed, and third one is active. You can see that only three status is there. Active means what? They will receive the email. If held, it means something is going to be negative about this email, so they will not going to receive. And unsubscribe means what? It is very clear. They will not going to receive the email from my side. In the same list, you can see that list, group, profile management, preference, preference management, data extension, and a lot of other things. Okay. And here is the list, and here is the data extension that I talked about. Uh, in talk, I talked about the starting of the session. So this is the list where you find all the list. And here is the data extension. Here you all got the all the data and from all list and all data extension you will get all the subscriber here so either you are managing list you are managing data extension it doesn't matter in all subscriber you will see all kind of data okay and here is your list if you are managing the list you can click on over here and you can see all the list here is your group if you are making any group here is the publication list so you can manage your publication here is the suppression list here you are managing all the suppression here is your profile management and here is the data extension so in this data extension, you are managing the all the data. Data extension also having a multiple type like shared data extension and Salesforce data extension, synchronized data extension. So this data extension is coming from the Salesforce CRM. Okay, synchronized data extension. So these are the list only means all the sus subscriber list data extension that all you will find it here. You can create everything. And we will also going to discuss how to create list and how we are going to create the detections and how you are managing the SQL operation, how you are going to automate, how you are going to uh, perform all the uh, automation and journey builder through this uh, list because whatever you are going to do, you are going to perform the action on this list, on this data to send the email campaign. Either it is automated and manually, either you are going to use the journey builder, whatever you do. Only method is to Google will going to personalize the email according to the user activity so that they will get interacted with you and you will get the good ROI from the email campaign. So that your email should be designed in such a manner that they will resonate your audience. So this is the email design that I will going to discuss. There are multiple design patterns that you will going to follow. So all these things are very interesting. So in the next session, we will going to talk about it. Now, because I have only five minutes of time, uh, so I wanted to go for the Q&A. If anybody have any question, you can chat. You can send me the chat message so that I can reply. And any suggestion, any feedback you wanted to, you can let me know so that I also going to include in the upcoming session. Because this is something that I wanted to 
we are more practical so today i talk about lot of list and with a lot of example uh, i didn't get the time to show you lot of things manually like publication list compression list but in the next session we will going to cover all these things as well so yes you have a time to ask many question i will going to read your answer question if you have you can ask me so varad joshi had asked me one question if subscriber wants to unsubscribe from the monthly newsletter so next time when we send monthly newsletter we need to associate the publication list and based on their subscription status they will not receive email correct thank you dinesh srivastav you like the session that's good you can share the feedback or even what you want to learn that also you can put because really i don't have many times idea what i should include in the session whatever i am doing because i am doing from my experience so obviously i wanted to provide more value so dinesh and madhukar if you have anything wanted to share you can include so that i can make it more productive because i just wanted to let you know that this demo that you had so is not accessible to many of them because license cost of the marketing cloud is too high as you are asking madhukar about can we get the org org access to get hands on so k madhukar uh, no you can't get this uh, org because it is not freely available and no one can provide you that is something is very relatable and very personal to any organization so whatever i am showing you that is also from my organization and we are running the live campaign over that account so sometimes creating any list is also very painful because i can't work i can't play with the live environment and that whatever i showing you is the live live campaign going on on the, from that account so i have to think about it before making anything okay coming uh, A wonderful season, Dinesh Trivastav. Thank you, Dinesh. Okay, Sumit. Thank you. Vakre uh, Parmeshwar. Great season. Thank you. Sri Rangam Venkat Venkates. Good season. Thank you for sharing the practical scenario. Thank you, Prasanth Jha. Impressive season. Thank you. Varad, you had asked me one question. I have to read it again. From the monthly newsletter. okay so i got your message you are saying that if you are sending the uh, varad is asking you one question that he was asking that if somebody had unsubscribed me from the newsletter my monthly newsletter so if the next time if i am going to send uh, the campaign do i had to create the uh, subscription uh, in the list do i have to create uh, what you ask okay do i have to create any list to minimize or uh, and remove them from the newsletter no you don't need to do anything and you don't need to create the suppression list even exclusion list no you don't need to do because in salesforce marketing cloud they manage all those things automatically because they are sending the campaign based on the subscriber status that status is three unsubscribe active and held held is something that is going on for 42 hour, for 72 hours in this 72 hours they are trying to send the campaign to the audience sometimes their server is busy their inbox is full hai na so they will not receive the message but when they are able to receive it they will their status will uh, change and it will become active if they are not receiving in 72 hours then they will their status will be held so they will not receive the message from the next time so that is managed by salesforce marketing cloud automatically okay so so we need to just associate that list to target de no you don't need to associate anything no you don't need to do anything because if you have a de you do, you have to understand the process like if you are creating a new de and you are putting lot of email id on that so the first time very first time marketing cloud go to that de and because this is the first time they don't have any subscription status because they don't had sent any campaign to that email id because this is new email id so they will going to send all of them but from the next campaign they don't need to go go to that de if you are putting the email id they will go but they have a subscription status from the previous campaign and if they had subscription status active they will send if there is unsubscribe they will going to unsubscribe from that so you don't need to do that in that case okay 
okay any other question anybody if you don't have yeah thank you varad and what i can do right now i will going to share my screen once again so that you will get the um one more thing that i wanted to share with you all so i just wanted to discuss about the email copy design i didn't discuss it because i don't have a time so this is the two things that you can connect over linkedin with me and this is the bio link of mine uh, that is the two things that the best way to connect with you okay so this is the end of the session from my side and madhukar asis are you there yeah okay you can wind up the session thank you prince for uh... A wonderful session, and I hope everyone get the knowledge how they can create and they can manage their subscription on over uh, marketing cloud. So everyone, any have have any question or any doubt, or if you need any support or any uh, guidance, uh, so you can connect with Prince on over the LinkedIn. He available uh, every time, so you can ping him and you can connect uh, over the LinkedIn. If you need any guidance or any. also you need like you are working on any business so you want to sub strategy how you can create email marketing strategy or any advertisement strategy he will help you to grow your business and uh, all the idea basically okay so thank you everyone we will plan the next session soon and thank you friends for your time and uh, knowledge thank you everyone bye bye take care